my name's Emma, make sure you subscribe. I'm doing two vlogs a week during this strange times. And then on a Sunday, I'm gonna do like a main channel video. So coming up on Sunday, we've got a Disney mug collection from all my mugs in here and all my mugs in the garage. Um, it is currently Thursday, so you'll be watching this on Friday morning. My two little beauties are doing some written maths. So, um, as I mentioned before, we do like half an hour writing in the morning, um, and then half an hour like on the computers maths. And we are listening to, on Spotify, a Disney Main Street playlist. We're alternating between like Capital FM, everyone likes Capital FM, don't you? Um, Ethan likes calming. calming music, so this is quite calming music, isn't it? And then in the afternoon when we're doing like crafty stuff, we tend to put on like Disney singing music. Stephen has had to go to the shops today for our essential once a week kind of top up. His mom is completely self-isolating, so she's not even going to the shops. Um, his sister is. Um, had a, she came back from America um, before the airports closed and she had a sore, th her boyfriend had a sore throat so those two are in quarantine for two weeks so he is also getting them shopping and dropping their shopping off on their front door, front door or maybe somewhere else and my friend Rachel was saying how um, she's dropping off her mum shopping in the car boot and leaving it for a bit because I think people are worried about, I don't know, all sorts of different things. So that's where we're at. I've finally changed my top. If you follow me on Instagram, please do go follow me on Instagram. I am doing two Instagram quizzes a week. And tonight, which you will have missed. Actually, if you go into my Insta story, it should still be there, a Disney Parks quiz. And on my Instagram, I've worn the same top for three days. And I've changed my top today. I'm wearing a 2XL Tiki Room t-shirt that I got from the Disney outlet store uh, for 99 cents last year. <laughs> so this is what I'm wearing now. This is today, I'm wearing yesterday's leggings. We go for our like little, so if you are not in England, in England we are allowed to kind of go out for like a, an exercise session as long as you keep six feet away from everybody once a day. So generally when we finish all our day, we go out for a little walk. And um, I will, I don't, I might just go out in this. We don't really see anybody anyway. And if we do see somebody, we always cross the road. So that's what's going on at the moment. Um, we did get a Disney Plus. We are struggling to get it on our telly. We're currently using the Chromecast. We haven't got Sky Q or the posh Sky. So we can't get it on our telly. We're Chromecasting it. Um, and it's in my little girl's room, we're Chromecasting it on my computer and we're Chromecasting it to the, um, the telly in the living room. So I'm hoping it comes on Sky or Smart Telly. If you have any idea, let me know. I know some of you are struggling a bit with money and stuff at the moment. Um, so obviously Disney Plus probably isn't in your budget. However, it, there is a free trial for a week. So I don't know if you want to save maybe for Easter week when you're on, when you're on a school holiday even though we're all most of us are off maybe you can have a week where you just have disney plus perhaps as a special treat um i don't know it's 5.99 a month otherwise i paid 49.99 the week before because it was on offer so that's what's going on it's very quiet out there again big love to key workers um some of you commented the other day for key workers let me know in the comments i'm trying to go in the comments as much as I possibly can so I can have a little chat with you. My neighbours are doing their little exercise. I've took their dogs out for a quick walk. Lucy is, oh, Emma, are you okay? Are you finished? No. Do you want someone to help you? No. Okay, I'll go, and, I'll go and see Erin and help her with, she has got the most <laughs> difficult maths from school. It's, she's got a, a like a, a bus timetable trail chaser. <laughs> and we are struggling somewhat, aren't we? Yeah. Um, for an update on Erin, she is... She's there. Oh, I'm out of... Hello. 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 And Ethan's down there. It's focusing on your own. Uh, for an update on Erin, she is a month... I can't believe it's been a month. It's been a month. Month of having a neck brace today. <laughs> so she's got two weeks left. We're doing physio four times a day. And we can't... Like eight times 
and then it's going to have to be ramped up when she has a neck brace off. We can't go to, well, the hospital, so they're going to have an on the phone physio. Because really, after an operation, you should be having like two physio sessions a week. So, but we're still doing it a day, all day, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We went out yesterday in, in the um, for our little walk, and because it's hot, it's got a bit sweaty, hasn't it? We haven't, yeah. we haven't experienced the heat. The washing machine's on, washing yeah. the towels. Are you doing loads of chores? Right, I'm going to help her in, then I'll come back with a Lucy update. Here she is, the queen. Um, somebody commented, oh, how's your dog doing in this um, situation? <laughs> oh, look, Lucy, you're so heavy. You're so heavy. Um, <laughs> why did <do> dogs all... <laughs> so grumpy. So, as you know, Lucy had a big operation um, towards the end of last year, and then we decided to not carry on with any, if she has got cancer, but we decided not to carry on with any more operations because she is an old lady. She's actually quite, she's happy and well with herself. My neighbour said the other day, I think you made the right decision not going forward with anything else because they've got dogs next door, so they're big dog lovers. Um, look at her, she's looking, looking at what's going on out there. Um, so, Lucy, traditionally, like, will have, a bit of kind of fun in the morning and then she would um, sleep all day and then have fun when the kids get in and then go to bed. And she has been a bit discombobulated because there's a lot of people around, isn't there? Isn't there? There's a lot of people around. So she has been kind of, whilst we've been doing quiet work, she's been sleeping in the front room and then she sunbathes in the garden in the afternoon when we do like our art stuff. Please don't rain next week. It's just me and Sima's like, this would be so much worse if it was pouring down with rain. Let's just keep the sun for a bit more. Um, and then she has a really big walk. So then, so she's quite tired. She has a really big walk in the afternoon with us all. So, yeah. She's getting lots of cuddles. Which I'm not sure she really likes with the kids. They're like, you don't see. And she's like, ugh. Um, but yeah, she's a queen. Erin, could you let Lucy out please for a wee? Um, and talking of, oh, she's gone for a way. Uh, talking of animals, um, if you haven't watched Tiger King on Netflix, she's like, get me out. Uh, you must watch it, it's so funny. It's such a strange program. Um, if you're not a fan, I mean, nobody is a fan, but if, if stuff to do with animals upsets you a bit, perhaps don't watch it. Um, because I must admit, we were on the penultimate episode yesterday and I was like, oh, Steve, this is a bit, this is a bit, mm, um, but it is such a wild story. So if you've got nothing to do, and I would say it's something you can watch with your other half, because I watch a lot of programmes that um, Stephen is just not interested in. But this one, it ma managed to like, hold his attention, so that was quite good. Um... I was FaceTime with my friend Rachel and Dave last night and they want me to do this game called Psych. So I might start doing that, which I'm like, oh, who's coming in? Okay. Hey, let's have a look. He's doing his work. So Ethan today, he's been doing 2D shape picture. And he had to name the shape, the number of sides, and the number of vertices. And I and am, it in. and then he had to colour it in. I'm ashamed to say, I had to Google what a vertices was, because I didn't know. And yesterday, I didn't know what a frontal adverbial was. Adverbial was. I do know what it is. What is it? It's an adverb. It's an adverb that goes at the front, I presume. No, so, it's not. So what we're going to do now is I'll head back with the kids and we... Do you want to get your laptop open, gorgeous? Or do you want to carry on with this? Laptop. Go and get your laptop open then. And I'll put this in the work. I don't want to go on. You can go on your number box. Or number one, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of um that so you gotta mix it up. Um he some of the stuff the school has sent, which we're very thankful for, so thanks very much. But they're either finishing it. Okay! Oh somebody's calling me, I better go. Who is it? Is it Gary Barlow? It's Stephen has returned. Um he said the key, he's been gone for hours. He said it was the cues at the chill that was said for a lot, long time he couldn't get um, pasta that he needed for his sister or chopped tomatoes. He said a lot of the stuff his sister wanted he just couldn't get. So, 
um, we're not going out again now. Well, we have no intention of going out um, for shopping because we've got a delivery slot for next Friday at some point. So we just not we don't need to get anything now. I've been putting bread in the freezer. Um, but on to happier things. We have decided, like last week when we knew, oh, we knew it was going to. Um, to be stuck in the house for a while like right okay so at some point we're going to have some sort of social distancing uh self-isolation kind of shenanigans so at the beginning of last week we actually went um picked up we've got the heating on in here because steven's been working down here this is where he works we picked up some paint so what we are going to do is we're going to be um during this time if we've got time and we'll bring you along with us we're going to be decorating uh because obviously we're not gonna be able to do anything at the weekend we're not gonna be able to go anywhere so i'm trying to find if i've got these in the right colors so we've got erin's always wanted the pink to go in her bedroom so we've got a really pale blue so we're going to decorate erin's bedroom we're going to take everything out give it a really good clean paint it and we have also we also did a big order from ikea that will be coming in two weeks i think if they're still delivering stuff because obviously the ikeas are all shut so uh we've got a wa new wardrobe going in erin's room as well so we're going to take everything out clean it all tidy it all up paint it and put the new wardrobe in and so we'll bring you along for that also uh that's white we're going to, if we've got time, Ethan's bedroom's not too bad, but we've got some white to paint Ethan's room. He doesn't need any new furniture. And we got for the bathroom, we got, we got like a satiny blue for the bathroom. It's almost like a, a is that the same colour? <laughs> we've got the same colour. We've got like a special bathroom paint. So we're going to paint the bathroom as well paint all the skirting boards give it a real good clean um if you remember rightly we've got a few holes in the wall so Stephen um had a bit of time yesterday so he filled those in i just think there's just if you are at home so if you're not a key worker who's you know doing loads of good for us all if we are stuck at home we might as well make the most of it because otherwise i think i'm just going to get really fed up so that's the plan we're just going to decorate my nan left me a bit of money um so we've used that to buy wardrobe for erin's room um a wardrobe for me uh so we'll be having a wardrobe for me <laughs> can you believe it we've ordered two sets of drawers for the bedrooms as well um so if stephen's got any time he's going to be making ikea stuff that's the plan that is the plan just we won't be able to paint the bedroom because we haven't got any paints in the bedroom i don't know if we could order paints online i don't know but we're going to just try and get i don't know take this time to like clean and tidy and sort and just trying to make the most of it really i know we're really fortunate that we do get to stay in the house and obviously some people are juggling at having to work outside the house so that is the plan of course you will come along with us for the ride because you are now my friends <laughs> we're all friends because i don't get to talk to many people actually no i have been um <laughs> i bet that was a shot going from pitch black to bright bright to lightness i have been what's happening um my friends like i spoke to my friend rachel and dave last night as i said um my friend Melissa just phoned it with her little girl Rene and the kids did maths together on the WhatsApp, which is good. I have been WhatsApping a different family and member every day. So we're doing my mom in a bit. Did my sister yesterday and we did my mother-in-law the day before. So the kids are speaking to them. So we are keeping in touch with people. Obviously I've got you lot that I chat to. <laughs> so oh the kids are on the break Stevens is putting the wash uh, the shopping away I'm gonna pause the music so we've got a break from 10 till half past <sighs> right and then I think what I'll do is in a little bit 
I will chat with you about my Disney Plus recommendations because we've really been enjoying it and talk about the programs we've seen and anything that you might like to watch. But kids just run around excited. The kids and I listen to like Dixie old time music and they are Erin's writing a uh, answering questions about refugee camps and Ethan's doing some sort of like imagination writing where he has a picture and the start of a sentence and he has to carry on. So they'll do that for a bit and then they're going to phone up Nanny San for their little newspaper. I think I told you the newspaper I did the other day. If I didn't, they're interviewing different people from the family and making a family newspaper about um, the pandemic and how people are coping with it. Apologies if I've already told you that. Or if you saw it on my Instagram. But that's what they're doing. So they interview a person every day. The person then has to send a photo through that they want us to use in the paper and then they type it up. Erin's is quite in depth and obviously Ethan's just like, Nanny went out. Or Nanny is staying in. It's the dog follow me. So Disney Plus, right. I thought I'd give you some of my Disney Plus recommendations. So I got it and the... Lucy, you just want to be in every shot. Just follow me around. Do your dog do that? Just follow you around all the time. It's cute, but it's like showing you can hear the kids talking at the door. Move your room. Oh. Well, Lucy's guarding us. We're all right. Okay, so we have got. So I ordered Disney Plus and I put it on literally half five. We turned it on in the morning. Um, what I've watched so far and I've really enjoyed, so some recommendations for you, or if you're thinking about getting it, these are the kind of things that are on it. I watched The Imagineer Story, which was really good. So it was all about, I hope they do more. It was all about how like Disneyland in California came to be, kind of behind the scenes of some of the rides. Um, so the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Um, and stuff like that. It was really good, really informative. If you're a bit of a Disney nerd, like I am, good. Another thing I watched was Disney, I think it's holiday decorating or Disney Christmas decorating. And it was basically them decorating Disneyland and Walt Disney World for Christmas. We need more of these shows, guys. I want them to do a programme decorate for Halloween. So the process of how they get all the flowers together for the displays, talk about how they put all the Christmas trees up, talk about how they do the gingerbread houses in um, the Grand Floridian. Oh, it's just such a lovely programme. And they're both about an hour long. Another show that the kids and I have really been enjoying has been um, Disney Fairy Tale Weddings. So every week it's, it's just like your normal kind of standard wedding programme, but with a Disney twist because, you know, like in England or I don't know about in other countries, if you have wedding programmes, like the bride's always a bit of a bridezilla, there's always some sort of huge disaster, um, so, you know, it's all like a farce, but this isn't like this. This is like a beautiful Disney wedding, a little bit about the bride and groom and then how the wedding has been made beautiful. So it's not always in front of the castle. Uh, sometimes it's in like a, um, one of the hotels. Sometimes we there's a part of the show that's set on one of the cruises. That was so good. And it's hosted by Twitch. So Twitch is from Ellen and my kids love Ellen and they love Twitch. So they really enjoyed that. One other thing that Erin and I watched together was Stargirl and we really enjoyed that. And that's like a young adult. I mean, I know she's only nine, but she still really liked it. Kind of store like high school romance story with some it had some really good moral i really like i really really liked it and it's got a singer in it whose name i forget and you'll all be shouting in the comments a young girl singer and she's really lovely and i just was like oh that's so that was really nice so that's another good recommendation and ethan started to watch um one a, a film like a um an original with a kid called timmy in who's got a polar bear and who is like a um He's not a spy, private investigator. So we're really enjoying it. Uh, I, you know, we're really, really liking it. Erin's watched Home School, High School Musical. Um, I started to watch, there's a programme called Encore where people from the 90s get together and 
redo musicals. And so it is really good. As I say, I know money's tight at the moment and it's not your priority, but maybe just get that free week in Easter. Be like, Easter Sunday, guys, this is what we're doing for the next week. Because I tell you what, by then we'll all be like pulling our hair out. Um, it's trying, you know, we're day four at the moment and, and like I'm quite positive, but by week, by week four, I might be a bit like, Arr. So yeah, they're my Disney recommendations. I am back on Sunday with a Disney mug collection video, as I mentioned earlier. And then the week after, I'm doing like a spring wardrobe tidy, so organisation. And then just leave, leave in the comments. Obviously, I can't do any hauls or anything at the moment um, because I can't get out and about and I'm not really buying anything. I did order a couple of new cushions from, from Next for the front room but that's about it i haven't really thought of anything else but let me know in the comments what you're up to what you're doing i'll be hanging around i'll be in the comments a lot more now because i'm at home so i dip in them and try and answer as many as humanly possible i love you lots i'm off to go and teach children and i will see you on sunday so have a lovely rest of friday saturday bye